Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, again, finally, I'm back. Today I am going to be testing out a object that I found at Walgreens that isn't necessarily a new product, but I've just never tried it before. <sighs> it is a little contraption that's supposed to help you French braid your hair. So, um, I am completely unable to braid hair. It is a deep, dark secret of mine. I have no idea how to braid hair. Anyways, if you are interested to see how this product works, if it's difficult, if it's the real deal, if it's the best $5 you'll ever spend, then why don't you come along on this crazy journey with me and uh, see how I ended up with this kind of so-so braid. Okay guys, this is the second time I'm filming this video because I literally just went through the whole process and then realized that the camera wasn't recording. Go me! Anyways, this video is brought to you by the fact that I have no idea how to braid hair. I am completely braid illiterate. My fingers do not move that way. I can't grasp the concept. My poor children will never grow up with beautiful braids in their hair. I'm sorry. Anyways, I was at Walgreens the other day looking for a new hairbrush and I saw this contraption along with five other little tools that help you accomplish different hair looks. Um, they were running about five to six dollars. This one is specifically supposed to help you French braid your hair and I thought, hey, I've got five dollars to burn. Let's see if this thing works. So I've tried it once or twice. It does work. Um, it's time, it's more time consuming than I think it would be if you were just naturally good at doing a French braid. But if you have literally no idea where to even start or how to do it, this is awesome. Um, it, I think from what I'm noticing, I've done it about three times now and I'm starting to kind of grasp the concept of how it works. I still don't know that I could ever really truly like do my fingers in that way. But, um... Anyways, I'm going to demonstrate this, hopefully it's going to turn out well because there is a trial and error process with it, but I just thought I would show you what I was able to accomplish with it for $5. If you are as inept at braiding as I am, maybe you want to go give it a shot. Okay, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to braid half of my head because I did that the other day and it looked kind of cute. I am going to just separate out a whole section of my hair. You start off with a section of hair in the front, you split it into three parts. So Mommy. you're going to take a third of what you've got and then you're going to split what's left over into two sections. So you know, three thirds. When you put it on your head you have to imagine that these slots are numbered um, like one, two, three, four. So you're going to take a third of the hair and put it in slot one. Then take another third and put it in slot three. Get them properly. Get it done. So that's slot two. This is slot three. Then the final third is going to go into slot four. And now you have these pieces separated and held in place so you can start to work through the braiding process. So it gives you pretty nifty instructions and as long as you can remember how you've numbered it in your head, one, two, three, four, then it just takes you through step by step saying like move two to the one and one to three and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to start off by taking the hair that's in slot four and moving it to slot two. Then we're going to take the hair from slot three and move that to slot four. Then we're going to move the hair from slot one to slot three. You want that yogurt? Okay, one second. And then we're going to move the hair from slot two to slot one. Oh. Honey, I literally cannot open that yogurt for you right now, but I will do it in just a minute. Oh. Oh. Oh, move hair from slot four to slot two. Okay. 
Then move hair from slot three to slot four. Move hair from slot one to slot three. Then move your hair from slot two to slot one. I'm looking down here because I have the instructions pulled up on my computer. So now we're going to start integrating hair from outside of the little TR looking thing. So now we move the hair from slot four to slot two. Then move the hair from slot three to slot four. Then we're going to take an additional piece of hair from next to slot one. It can be difficult if you have very long hair like me because things just get kind of messy. Anyways, take this additional piece that you've grabbed and move it to slot two. Now once you start this process, the little um, plastic thing starts to gradually and naturally move down your head um, and that's how you're eventually going to have a full braided head. Okay, so we've got the extra hair in slot 2. Now we're going to move the hair that's in slot 1 to slot 3. Move hair from slot 2 to slot 1. Now we're grabbing extra hair from this side and we're going to move that to slot 3. Okay, so now we repeat that whole sequence that we just did again and we'll continue to repeat it until we get the down to the length that we want. So, move hair from slot four to slot two. Then move hair from slot three to slot four. And grab an additional section of hair next to slot one and move that to slot two. See, I'm, I'm starting to memorize it without even having to look at the instructions. So I do think the more you um, do it, the easier this process will get and then eventually hopefully you could try to do it without this tool so it's basically just like training wheels for braiding I guess all right moved that to slot two hopefully okay now we're going to move the hair from slot one to slot three Now move the hair from slot two to slot one. Then we're going to go and grab our additional hair from over here by slot four and we're gonna move it to slot three. If y'all can hear all the noises in the background, that's just because as usual, life is going on here. It's, you know, still a holiday break. The kids are home. The dog's barking for whatever reason. All right, take this hair. Move it to slot three. Okay. And then start over again. So move hair from slot four to slot two. Don't you time out on me screen. Then move hair from slot three to slot four. Then grab your additional piece from next to slot one and put it into slot two. Long hair. So annoying. I really need a haircut so bad. Then 
Then move your hair from slot one and put it in slot three. Then move hair from slot two to slot one. Then grab your additional section from next to slot four and put it in slot three. And I think I may actually stop it here just for the sake of time on this video. Okay, so now we have a braid. It is messy because a few reasons. Um, one, still a beginner. It's not gonna be perfect. Two, one of the downsides to this is that um, since you have this hand constantly holding the device, it can make it harder for you to precisely separate the little sections and you'll get a lot of little stray hairs here and there. But I think, especially if you're going for kind of like a messy boho look, then it truly doesn't matter. Um, but then also as you get better at the process, it will become hopefully a non-issue. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a little elastic like this and I am going to somehow miraculously pull out this whole thing without losing any of the sections. Wish me luck. Alright, now I'm going to take just the teeniest tiniest bit of non-braided hair from underneath the braid and I'm going to include this in the tying off portion to anchor it down to my head rather than, um, you know, having it kind of stick out. So there's our super duper messy French braid. But the key to note here is that it is still somehow a braid. And it is a braid that I could have not accomplished prior to this. So to finish off styling the hair, what I'm going to do is um, get this ponytail holder out of my hair. pin this little piece down with a bobby pin. So I think when I did this the other day I didn't take the braid quite so far back and that allowed this extra hair to kind of come in and cover up the transition point. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I think kind of go through with them like get close to a mirror and sort of kind of pull and play with the braid itself to make it look a little more loose and natural and kind of like boho chic. And then I will be right back. I'm back. Um, what I did was just curled this up a little bit. I tried to kind of brush out some of the frizzies on this side of my head. And I tried to sort of go through and pin down some of the imperfections here. So, I'm willing to walk out of the house like this. It's obviously not the most beautiful hairdo ever. Um, I am thinking I'm supposed to take pictures of this cute fur vest later. So I'm thinking I might leave my hair like this for that. Um, so, you know, I think what it is is it's a work in progress. I think it's obviously trial and error. You have to give it a couple of shots before it magically is amazing. Um, if you know how to braid hair, don't buy this. It'll be a waste of money for you. If you are completely just like a dunce like me, like braiding is like doing calculus. It's like a beautiful mind, like trying to figure out this strand goes here and that strand goes there. Like if you're that person, then give it a shot because I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying kind of learning how the strands overlap and blah, blah, blah. 
and I do think I'm gonna continue to use it a few more times and hopefully it'll get better as I go. I also think if I finally go get a haircut like we've been needing to for a year that will also make a huge difference in the appearance of this because there will hopefully be a lot less kind of like flyaway craziness going on. Um, but I think it's cute. I say for beginners this is a yes. They have a few other different types of these contraptions. They have one that helps you do a waterfall braid which I don't know maybe I'll google a picture of it and put it over here. Um, they also have that thing that was really popular back in the 90s, and gosh, it's driving me crazy that I don't remember the name of it. Um, Topsy Tail? Is that it? It's like the little, yeah, Topsy Tail. It was the little, like, oval thing with the stick that comes down, and you would, like, do the ponytail and push it in and flip it through, and then you'd have that cool little inverted ponytail. They have one of those. They just have a whole range of them. This is by Conair. Five to six dollars at Walgreens. I'm sure they probably have it at other drugstores, so I would check it out if you are hopeless like me. Um, and that's it. Let me know what you think. Is this a waste of money to you? Do you think you might use it? Do you know how to braid hair? Can you teach me? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, like the video by clicking the thumbs up button. And I've also linked all of my other social networking channels down below. Instagram, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, MySpace, Friendster. Those are the days. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.